the Kronos Sparta turntable. It's the newest offering from Kronos. I first was introduced to Kronos at CES 2012. The proprietor, Louis Desjardins, resides in Montreal, Canada. Louis had the idea of taking a counter-rotational platter, placing it beneath the standard platter, thus canceling out any vibration that the turntable could produce. I mean, think about it. When you look at it, hold a, a top when it's spinning, it, it spins perfectly normal. But when you tilt it and move it back and forth, it's hard to do. You can feel the pushing and the pulling. So you take two platters, counter-rotate them, and you create a stability that does not exist with one platter. And then you suspend the turntable, kind of like an up upside down suspension where the turntable's floating on grommets. And uh, you can see as right here. Now we're gonna move it back and forth. Ingenious design. Add into it self-lubricating bearings, one each for both platters, two DC motors, and again, these are running completely separate of each other. And you have an ingenious design. I mean, the technology in the Kronos is unparalleled. So the big question is, how does it sound? Now we've been listening to it with its companion Helena arm, which has got a carbon fiber tube, arm tube, solid, it's got a unipivot with a ball bearing, as you saw. It's a ball that sits on a cup, and it's pretty big. We've had the turntable under evaluation for a short time. It is indeed a prototype. Where will you connect the wires for the tone arm? That will move to the back to a more permanent position. But the skeletal structure of the turntable and the overall design of the turntable is identical to what you're going to get in a production model. There'll be a slight variations and improvements uh, as uh, manufacturing begins on the first production run. So how does it sound? Well, it's one of the most accurate turntables I've heard. When I first dropped the needle, we first set it up, I heard pitch stability, I played a piano recording, that was unparalleled for the turntable. I ran to my Bill Evans box set and some of those can, on some, certain turntables, particularly on suspended turntables, they can be a little bit of a swimminess to the pitch of the piano. So the Kronos eliminates that. It's the best of both worlds. It's the nice big spread and three-dimensionality of a suspended turntable, but yet the accuracy of a non-suspended turntable. The price of the turntable is less than an economy car. So, if you think and look at all the technology, you look at the price of the turntable, and then the sound of the turntable, its pitch stability, and its accuracy, you really have a unique package. Now the turntable starts right up with the switch. You can adjust the speed minutely with the little buttons on the control box, and that's all there is to it. Once it's set up, it stays set up. That's one thing I liked about it too. There's a real uh, feeling of confidence when you operate the machine. Push the button, zzz, starts right up, put the record on, pull your needle over, and you're playing music. The first evening with a turntable, I stayed up to 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't normally do that. I review a lot of audio equipment. Very rare do I get a piece of equipment that forces me to stay in the listening seat and not go to bed. It was amazing because what I heard was accuracy in my recordings that I don't normally get. It's like that total pitch stability of digital but with the three-dimensionality of a master tape. So this turntable brings me closer to the master tape sound than any other turntable I've had. It's unique in that way. It's very different sounding than the Triangle Art, which I adore. The Triangle Art turntable is, it's almost, I have almost a relationship with it uh, because it brings the music so close to me. It's not quite as accurate as the Kronos, but it gives you a musicality that is superb. 
and perhaps a little bit more than the Kronos. The Kronos is more of an analytical approach, more of a master tape clarity to it. Now, granted, we're using a DynaVector cartridge on it as well, and that is a very detailed cartridge. It is, as a package, the most accurate LP reproduction I've had in my listening studio. What more can you say? The Chronos Sparta from Louis Desjardins, Chronos in Montreal. I would have to give it a four stars out of five for its accuracy, dimensionality, pitch stability, and just getting to the essence of what's in the recording. It's an amazing machine. Highly recommended. Please consider it for your system. Thank you very much. Peter Burning reporting for AV Showrooms.